yeah, maybe if communism never really took off, I wouldn't be getting demonetized all the time by these le epic liberal crybabies. Why, hello there, my fellow magapedes. It's me, Donald Trump supporter 123 here. Tips le epic green frog man hat. And if you didn't know, apparently according to some article, you guys are all neo-Nazis who play Call of Duty. Boy, I absolutely love Call of Duty and I'm just a le epic right-wing enthusiast and the most important thing you can take from this video is I'm basically going to 360 no scope collat Joseph Stalin, Chairman Mao and Trotsky all at once and they'll never exist. And if you're confused what we're playing today, it's a mod called In the Name of the Tsar, which is basically what if Russia didn't fall apart to a communist revolution and a republican revolution and then also one World War One. And on top of that, the moon's made of cheese and dog is actually pronounced the hooky. Oh, shaking my SMH. White people be like, all Asian people look the same, but what the hell, dude? So which one of you is culturally appropriating the other one's mustache? So in this old history scenario, communism obviously never really took off because the Soviets weren't alive to push it and Germany didn't really get a very good deal out of World War One by the looks, but there are, there are still some little bastions of communism, but I am entirely sure they only elected this man because he looks like an egg and the communists are hungry. But this time around, I'll be playing Russia. So as usual, leave a like, hit the subscribe if you're new around here and want to see more hot civilian for videos and funny joke. So rule one of living in the mid 20th century is that you can't trust the fucking Germans. They're obviously up to something. Completely bizarre old history scenario setting. Check. Overpowered focus tree for said overpowered nation in overpowered mod. Check! Oh shit, and in this alternative history scenario, it looks like the Russians actually managed to splice in giraffe DNA into humans. Boy, this is advanced. Oh. Constantinople? Why, yes, it is quite revolting. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, Britain, but at least one of us is gonna have to go home and change because we can't just turn up with the exact same leader. Oh, perfect, you took my advice. Well, I guess some things are just bound in history to happen, really. It's just, uh, you know, just the Spanish doing what they do best. Being shit. Yeah, communism just kind of doesn't have the backing as it does in our base game scenario, aka real life history. But boy, the communists are really fucking trying to get a foothold somewhere, but it's just, it's just not gonna happen, especially since I can send six tank volunteers and a bunch of planes everywhere. Oh, Aunt Nikolai died. I don't want another king then. Jeez, my, my, that was the only reason I liked him, because he had the cool beard and all. Uh, if only there was a very convenient button I could press to overthrow the monarchy. Oh, how convenient. There's a button right here. Yeah, in the name of the military dictatorship doesn't really have the same ring to it as in the name of the Tsar, does it? Right, I gotta make sure these Prussians aren't up to something, because uh, they've been quiet for too long. Now, why do I have the feeling that either of these scenarios probably doesn't actually make Oh, Boris? Yeah, sure, I'll have someone called Boris in control. When has anyone called Boris ever fucked Russia? <laughs> oh shit, I knew the Germans were up to something. Look, they've only gone and annexed some of their rightful land back into their country, which was wrongfully taken away. That's illegal. Oh, look, and now they got the fucking communists at war. I'm gonna have to sweep in and protect these Germans, because those communists can't get far. Oh, you've just got to be a part of fucking everything, do you, Mussolini? Yeah, I, I'm just here to secure the peace in Europe, you know. Just don't mind the fact I justified way before the communists invaded. Oh, shit, the communists got way too big of a foothold in Germany there. But I, I did manage to go ahead and puppet the other Germany. And hopefully that that's good enough, even though... Oh, f Fucking Strasser. What if we were fascist, but still quite socialist? Oh yes, and we're still very negative towards the Jewish people. Oh, the fucking Alfonso, really? Him? Consolidate the Eastern Coalition or a third Rome? Now, when has there ever been too many fucking Rome? Oh, you ever doubted why this is the best smart ever? Guess what? Alf Landon's got a picture! Oh, the Ottomans want to join my alliance, which is pretty nifty for me because then I can go ahead and eat all the countries they're at war with. Sorry, did I say eat? I meant peacefully occupy to de-escalate the situation down here. <laughs> Don't mind me, just de-escalating a situation like every Russian ever has in the entirety of history by eating land. What is it with China recently and just really 
getting in where they don't fucking belong. And that, my friend, is how you achieve peace in the Middle East. I know, I'll, I'll accept my Nobel Peace Prize any day. Wait a second, how did Italy get Greece? Oh, well, the communists are actually making quite a few moves down here in Germany, and um, I would deal with it, but I kind of actually want to see something in the world happen other than me invading Central European countries. Oh, Spain declared war on Venezuela and Cuba, and if I know my hoi for AI, this war's never ending. Just want to say that Germany right now looks real fucking beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, okay there, Austria. I, I, I am shivering in my booties. Oh, the Ottomans declared war on the Persians, and I feel like it's time to backstab my former ally in, in the back, funnily enough. Well, that fixes the controversy around Istanbul or Constantinople. It's actually Zagrad! What did I say? Peace in the Middle East, and I've managed to do it again. Is there a man in history that's won two Nobel Peace Prizes just for fixing the Middle East? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, those communists are eating the Austrians now, which is good, because I was pretty scared the Austrians might come in and just absolutely destroy me, but, ooh, that's a weight off my shoulder. So you may be wondering what the hell I've been doing this whole time, and, um, it's actually quite simple, really. I've been building 150 light tank divisions. Why? Real good question, actually. I don't know why. Oh, that's why! I like how in this scenario, Germany started World War II by declaring war on France, and instead of going around the Maginot, they're going around the Italy! Oh, yeah, look. There's just 50 Chinese divisions encircled by four light tanks. Yeah, I think having 150 light tank divisions might be a little bit overpowered. I'm just gonna put that out there. Ooh, 7.6 million dead Chinese people! So you haven't seen it yet, but as soon as I just beat the Chinese here, the Japanese declared war on me! It's a fun time in Asia! Oh, well, I, I missed, um... I missed that successful invasion around Italy by the looks. War with Russia, eh? I, you probably should have done that before you collapsed into a billion different German states. I built a very big navy this game. Don't know if you could tell. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna help you, honestly. Your navy is, uh... <laughs> It's kaput. Yeah, and so is your army by the looks. Um, I, I feel like this mod might be a slightly overpowered for Russia. I, I don't know if you guys are getting that, that feeling too. We're also Japanese war, my fucking dick. Oh shit! The Americans are justifying against me with... War Plan Lime! The most menacing of fruits and colours! Oh, that didn't go too well for America, and they've been overthrown by the Confederate States of Huey Long Dong. What the fuck is this? Some sort of crossover episode? Well, I've no idea who I'm supposed to go to war with here, so I guess I'm just gonna mop up Germany and see what fucking happens of it. Oh, you know that war that Spain had with Venezuela? Well, the people in Germany decided to join their faction. So once again, Spain has fucked the entire world up. <sighs> Just fucking shoot me. Just shoot me right between the fucking eyes. Funnily enough, all I have to do to win this war is apparently capitulate Cuba, which is, um, it's proving very easy. Bay of Pigs? Nah, uh, nah. Bay of Soviets drunk on fucking vodka managing to take over your entire island with no fucking problem. Well, no one else is gonna start World War II. I guess I'll have to fucking do it then, won't I, guys? I'm trying to be nice and peaceful. I haven't done anything bad this whole game. Yeah, Russia's just now mobilizing. Just try to forget that those 150 light tank divisions I spawned just for the hell of it. Ah, the French leading an organized and excellent defense against the Russians passing through Belgium, 1949. And now we live on an island. Yeah. Again, did I mention this seems slightly overpowered mod-wise? Did did I mention did I wait, guys, did did I say that? I can't remember. Honestly, I think that was a fair fight. Couldn't have got any fairer. Ah, hundreds of dead British sailors. Honestly, that was a pretty fun game, I won't lie. It was um it's definitely one of those mods that seems a bit focused a bit too much in one direction in this scenario, Russia, but it was still pretty damn fun. I don't know why Huey Longdick made an appearance, so that's a bit fucking weird. Um, go back to Kaiser Reich. But yeah, that was a pretty fun game. I had a lot I had a lot of fun, honestly, just being super overpowered, which is always the best case for these mods, because people were like, oh, well, they're not that fun because it's not realistic. It's not Kaiser Reich. Well, no, it was it's, it's still fun just to pubs jump on fucking the dumb AI. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I hope you leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and want to see some more Hearts of Iron 4 content on this channel. And most importantly, I need to just let you guys know that whatever any article says, 
You're not a bunch of Nazis. You're actually just a bunch of stupid fucking idiots. But you're my stupid fucking idiots and I love you nonetheless.